In this video, I'm going to show you how we can solve Cauchy-Euler differential equations of the third order or higher orders. Let us start with a third order differential equation. x to the 3y triple prime plus 2x to the 2y double prime plus xy prime minus y equal 0. This is a third order Cauchy Euler differential equation. How we know that this is a Cauchy Euler? When you look at the terms, look at the, the order of each term. For example, this term is of the third order because we have y triple prime. We have x to the 3 as the coefficient. Always the degree of x should be the same as the degree of the order of the derivative of y. We have degree 3 for x and we have triple prime we have degree 2 we have double prime we have degree 1 for x we have 1 prime here this is how we can check if differential equation is Cauchy Euler or not but how we can solve this Cauchy Euler of the third order similar to the second order Cauchy Euler differential equations we have to write the characteristic equation but how we can generalize that formula for second third order or higher orders it's really simple when you have x to the 3y triple prime for that part put r times r minus 1 times r minus 2 if you had x to the 2y double prime for that part put r times r minus 1 and because we have coefficient 2 here, we have to put a 2 here. And for x, y prime, we put r. And for y, simply we have to put the coefficient, which is negative 1, equals. So this is the characteristic equation for this given differential equation. So we have to look at the term. When we have triple prime, put r, r times r minus 1 times r minus 2. Can you guess if we had x to the 4, fourth derivative of y? Note that this means the fourth derivative of y. So this is the same as this. But usually when we have more than 3 prime, just we put the number of primes in the bracket. What is the characteristic? equation for this something like this r times r minus 1 times r minus 2 times r minus 3 and we can continue this if we have higher degrees like 5 and so on so in this way we can find the characteristic equation for any degree it doesn't matter any order actually not any degree of Cauchy Euler differential equations so this is the characteristic equation. Now we have to find r from this characteristic equation. For finding r from this characteristic equation, if we look at this r minus 1, r minus 1, and r minus 1, you can see that we have r minus 1 as a common factor. So we can factor r minus 1, which if we factor this from this term, r times r minus 2 remains from this middle term 2r remains and from this only a 1 remains equal 0 now if we simplify this expression here we have r to the 2 minus 2r this minus 2r and this positive 2r cancel each other so in the bracket we have r to the 2 r times r is r to the 2 minus 2r and plus 2r cancel each other and plus 1 remains now we have to set each bracket equal 0 to find r from the first bracket r is 1 a simple real roots this is one of the roots of the characteristic equation but from the other equation, if we set r to the 2 plus 1 equal 0, r squared is negative 1. And from this, we have two complex roots 
in the form of plus minus i. The square root of negative one is i, and don't forget this plus minus. So we have two complex roots. Now that we have the roots of the characteristic equation, we can write the solution of the Cauchy Euler similar to the second order Cauchy Euler with the same formulas. The solution for this third order differential equation is C1 x to the this root, this root is 1, so x to the 1 plus for these two complex roots note that here is 0 and here is 1 and if you remember when we have complex roots in the form of alpha plus minus beta i we use this formula x to the alpha times c1 cosine beta ln x plus c2 sine beta ln x we use this formula based on this formula alpha is 0 beta is 1 so x to the 0 again alpha is 0 here here is 0 x to the 0 is 1 so we don't need to put this only we have to write this and note that because we used c1 here instead of c1 we have to put c2 cosine beta beta is 1 ln x plus c3 sine ln x and so this is the solution of this third order Cauchy Euler differential equation the next example is this differential equation x to the 3y triple prime plus 5xy prime minus 5y equal 0. Note that in this differential equation we don't have y double prime here. The coefficient of y double prime is 0. Similar to the previous question, first we write the characteristic equation. For this term, we have to put r times r minus 1 times r minus 2. Because we don't have the term x2y double prime, we don't need to put any r times r minus 1. Because the coefficient of this part is 0. We move to, the, to this part 5 times for y prime, we have to only put simply r. And for this negative 5y, only we have to put the coefficient of y, which is negative 5, equal 0. This is the characteristic equation. It's not necessary to put bracket around r here. So it's 5r simply. Now if you factor a 5 here, we have r minus 1. Also we have r minus 1 in this term. If we factor r minus 1, from this term we have r times r minus 2, and from this term a 5 remains, equal to 0. If we set the first bracket equal 0, r equals 1. This is a simple real root. But for the other bracket, we have r to the 2 minus 2r plus 5 equals 0. For finding r, if we use the quadratic formula, r equals negative v, which is negative negative 2, 2 plus minus s square root of v squared 4 minus 4ac 20 over 2. So r equals 2 plus minus s square root of negative 16 is 4i because the square root of 16 is 4 and the square root of negative 1 is i over 2. So finally r equals if we divide the term in top by denominator 
1 plus minus 2i. So we have two complex roots here. And so the general solution for this homogeneous differential equation is C1x to the 1. This is a real root, so we have to use the formula for real roots. And for these two complex roots, if you don't remember how to write the roots of a normal second order Cauchy, Euler Cauchy differential equation, watch my video about that. For these complex roots, we have x to the 1 times y, c1 cosine 2 ln x plus c2 sine 2 ln x. And this is the general solution for this homogeneous third order. Cauchy-Euler differential equation. If you wonder why the characteristic equation for a Cauchy-Euler is something like this, how we get to this characteristic equation, note that the way they derive this formula, this characteristic equation, is that they suppose the solution of this Cauchy Euler to be a function like x to the r, which r here can be any real or even complex number. If we suppose y to be x to the r, what is y prime? r x to the r minus 1. What is y double prime? r times r minus 1 x to the r minus 2. That is y triple prime, as here we have. r times r minus 1 times r minus 2 x to the r minus 2. And now, if we substitute this instead of this y triple prime, and we multiply, oh, I forgot to make this 3. And if we multiply this by x to the 3, which here we have, this becomes x to the r. But note to hit this part, r times r minus 1 times r minus 2. You can see this here. This is how they make this characteristic equation. I don't want to go to the detail of this in this video. But it, it is not a bad idea to learn how they get to this characteristic equation. I hope by watching this video you have learned how to solve third order or even higher order Cauchy Euler differential equations. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.